Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and this one is going to be just a little start at home. Um, this was actually going to be a base game one but then I like I did the whole house and then at the end I realised, oh I kind of forgot to do a base game. So I kind of just changed it into this just a generic start at home really um and yeah so it is quite small i think um compared to other ones that i've seen um it is for two sims and it is around twenty thousand. um i got to the end and i was really really struggling to do like the little decorations around the outside and stuff so i may have went just over i think it came out to about 20.1k um but if you do download this off the gallery which you can um you may just have to you know remove one or two plants and that might uh, do the trick um so like i said this is on the gallery you can head over to my origin ID, which is real Thomas TV one and download this. But for some reason it says that the CC, even though there isn't, I've had this glitch a couple of times now, and I know a couple of other people have it all the time. And I don't know what's happened in my game to cause this to happen, but it is really, really irritating. So hopefully um it won't last that long. But um Today I'm just going to talk you through the build here. Um, uh, for some reason, I've done this a couple of uh, a couple of times. Oh my god, I can't speak. Sorry, I have, I've had a couple of attempts at this, and it was, I just really, really struggled with it for some reason. Like, I mean, it's only a start at home, but I just I don't know why. Um, so I was just thinking of ways to try and make it different, just add little bits on the side, just you know, like I said, to just make it different, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, if you see me pause a couple of times, and I'm just you know trying to work out what to do. Um, I did do this over two days because I started again because it wasn't um you know going what i had in mind so i did take a break and came back the next day to finish it off which is right now is another day where we're going to be doing the inside now um i did start the inside on the previous day um just did the kitchen really in a different space that i'm doing it now and then i came back and i just thought i didn't like it at all and the floor plan i had so i just you know removed all the inside and did it again um and yeah so now we're doing the kitchen and for this actually well for the kitchen and the rest of the place um i kept it neutral colors but apart from the bedroom I kind of added blue into there because I used a bed from City Living and um it had like blue in it and I just thought oh that might make this room a little bit different um so on to the living room section now and I really really like this uh living room section of the house you know it's got the two big windows behind the tv um and yeah so I just you know was looking for a couple of uh you know different seats to use and I just went with a two piece oh my god I can't speak sorry a two person seat and then I did two separate armchairs as well um and that is just a small tv but I did scale it up so you know that's a good tip for making starter homes Um, you can you know have bigger items by just scaling them up and having the same lower class ones um and yeah so i did this in kind of random order sort of thing i do this sometimes where i just start with one area of the house and then i move on to somewhere else and that's kind of what i did here um i'm not finished with the kitchen and you know what i've seen is just moving on to the living room for a little bit now moving on to this kind of computer area um, and i've still got to go back to the living room to do like the paintings and the wall coverings and stuff like that and i don't know why i do it i just like to have like each part of the house having something in it and then you know going back with the details and stuff if you know what i mean um so here i'm paused for some reason i don't know why it might just be my game lagging i don't know why it would be doing that but okay um but i did put a little computer area here as well um, it's just one of those basic computers because that's all you can afford really in a start at home but it is a useful item to have so you know you can start working up and um, make money to you know for you to get a bigger house or expand the house and um, what I should have done is made this into a toddler friendly home uh, but I didn't end up doing that for some reason I don't know why I'm sorry there's a huge big gap there I don't know what happened the game just completely frozen I know I took a little break but I thought I cut it out of the video but it looks like I didn't um, so yeah let me know if you'd like me to do a toddler to oh, yeah, speak again here we go a toddler cc oh my god not a toddler cc <laughs> what am I on about a toddler themed start at home, a uh, to toddler friendly, oh my god I really can't speak today, what is wrong with me? A toddler friendly start at home, there we go, finally I got that really simple sentence out. Let me know if you'd like me to do that because I know with toddlers coming out um, it might be a nice idea to do that. And as you can see there in the bedroom I do have the blue kind of theme running throughout it a little bit just on the tables and on the pillows as well. Um, I was going to do the rug, as I've just seen there, to be blue as well, but I just thought it looked a little bit too much, so I did change that just to a neutral colour. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble deciding on what wall covering to use throughout the house. Um, none of them just wasn't really taking my fancy, but I did end up going with this one. Um, I did, well, at the end we do go through and put some paintings on the walls, and I really wanted to put some like little lights above them just to make them like stand out a little bit, but we did run out of money, so that's maybe something you could do once you do make a little bit more money, is put that in. Um, and 
as you've seen there, we do have an easel in the house as well, which is great. There's lots of different, you know, items in here to skill build. Um, but we did run out of money at the end when I was going in with the little final touches. So I did have to remove that, unfortunately. Um, but it is something you could easily make the money back on. Um, but yeah, so now we're just going in with the finishing touches and things, with paintings and curtains and things like that. Um, isn't really a whole lot else to it. Oh my god, I can't speak again. I don't know why I always have trouble with that. It's always once I get a little bit into the videos a little bit. I have done another voiceover today as well, so I think I am just getting a little bit tired. Um, but yeah, so I am, with this um, bedroom as well, there's just, I would, well, I did have a TV in there, but I did have to remove that because it was, wasn't, oh my god, I was running out of money. Um, I did have like a blue plant in there as well there's just a little detail which i thought looked really really nice and now we're just going in with the curtains um and for the kitchen as you've seen there, i do have a fire alarm but I did, that is kind of not in line with the oven which i don't know if that looks right or not but it was the only place that kind of fit um and now we're going back in with the uh, lights and i'm just using the generic ones it is just the easiest ones to use it is quite cheap as well um, I think there might be some, you know, cheaper options you could maybe work out on actually, but they are the nicest ones to use in terms of just filling up the space uh, nicely in terms of light. Um, and now again, we're just finished um, just having to go around trying to delete a couple of things so I could get in the last uh, a couple of finishing touches. Um, but now on the inside, outside, <laughs> no, the outside, um, and I'm just going in with the foundation coverings and just a couple of other things as well. Um, I couldn't really do a whole lot of landscaping because we just didn't have the money for it but I did try to do as much as I can um, and I did put a little uh, chair out on the balcony as well not the balcony I mean the patio front bit <laughs> I can't think of the word for it just because I thought it seemed a little bit too bland so I just added that in as well um, and that is pretty much it so at the end of the video we do have some screenshots as well so you can have a final overlook of the house to see what we did Um this did take me about two hours in total I think that's including breaks Um, I think I've got about two hours of footage which is quite a lot for houses like this but it just take me a little while to decide on the little details and stuff so I think that's why it takes me quite a long time and as you see here at the end I was adding a little bit more money into my household funds because I was running out of money to do get the, those last little essential little bits in and so I did have to add a hundred or two um, simoleons into the place and then one final touch I like to do is just going in with some terrain paints um, as I've seen I did do that for the main you know, walkway of the house but I do like to put the dirt terrain paint going around the house I don't know why it just adds a really nice little detail I saw somebody do this in their speed build a little while ago and I just thought it was a really really nice idea so I did do that but anyway we're now on to the screenshots I hope you enjoyed this build if you did please make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't make sure you head over to the gallery to download this house for yourself and leave some thoughts down below as well for future Future builds and I hope to see you all soon. Bye!